Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Chromebook tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream to Twitch from your Chromebook. So this means if you're trying to live stream anything that's on your Chromebook, such as games, maybe Roblox, Minecraft, or even just YouTube videos, or you want to live stream a podcast or talk show directly from your Chromebook, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do that for free. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is simply go to StreamYard and check the description. I'll have an affiliate link down there. Please use that link to support this channel. Once you get to StreamYard, what we need to do is first select Get Started so that we can create our account and set up our live stream. So I'll select Get Started in the top right, enter my email, and then get login code. You'll receive an email with a code in it, enter that in, select login, and then your account will be created with StreamYard. So it's very easy to do. From here, we can tell StreamYard how we're gonna use our channel. I'm just gonna be using it for personal use, but you can select if you're an educator or maybe an enterprise or small business and then select Onward to begin. The first step of setting up StreamYard so that we can live stream the Twitch from our Chromebook is to go ahead and connect StreamYard to our Twitch account. And we do that in StreamYard by going to Destinations, which should have been the first page after you logged in, and then selecting Twitch right here. Once you select Twitch, you'll be brought to Twitch where you need to log into your account. And as you can see, this is actually the Twitch website. So go ahead and log into your account. Once you log in, you need to give StreamYard access to your Twitch account. And as you can see, these are related to being able to stream on your account. So editing your title, your stream key, things like that. So nothing too much. Go to the bottom, select Authorize. Once you select Authorize, it'll bring you back to StreamYard. And now we're set up so StreamYard can stream to Twitch. To start streaming, all we need to do is go in the left sidebar, select Broadcast. And then once you get to Broadcast, select Create Broadcast. Now we can use pre-recorded videos, but in this, we're just going to do a new broadcast. In the broadcast two panel, select Twitch and we can come up with a title and then you can select your category right here. If you're playing a game, you can set it up on the Twitch website and then just say, use my current Twitch category. I'm just going to do just chatting and then select create broadcast. The first thing we need to do, if you're going to use your microphone or your webcam, is go ahead and give access to use your mic or your webcam. So to do that, select allow mic slash cam access. And then up in the top left, select allow. This will give a quick test where you then you can see me and you can also see the microphone and the level working. If this isn't working, you might need to select the little settings icon right here where then you can go through, change the camera that's being used, or you can set up to use a different microphone here as well. So once you've given access to your microphone and camera, go ahead and put in your name, then select Enter Studio. So now that we're in the StreamYard Studio, I'll kind of go through this so that you can get an idea of how this works and how we can include streaming our actual Chromebook screen. So to be able to live stream the screen on your Chromebook, what you want to do is go down to the bottom menu and select Share. And then we can do Share Screen right here. Go ahead and select share at the bottom. And then within Chrome, we have a couple different options. We can share our entire screen. So this is going to be everything on our Chromebook screen. We can select a window, which is going to be maybe Chrome or the game that you're playing, or even a tab in Chrome if you have multiple tabs open. Keep in mind, if you want to include the audio from your Chromebook in your stream, you want to select entire screen and then go to the bottom and select share system audio. This ensures any audio on your Chromebook is shared to Twitch. Once you select an item, you can go down and select share. And as you can see now, my Chromebook screen is being shared to StreamYard. So once you have your screen being shared to StreamYard, if you want to go ahead and add your webcam, just go down to your webcam right here and select add to stream. And then as you can see, it adds it over to the left side. From here, we can change the layout if we want to move the webcam maybe over the screen right here, we can select this one. We can go to just the webcam. And then if you have multiple webcams, maybe you're bringing in guests for a talk show, you can select this right here to bring in multiple webcams if for a group layout. Now you have to have multiple people to be able to use that. So I'm not gonna be able to show that right now. If you wanna go back just to your screen right here, you can select cinema layout. And that'll show just your screen on your Chromebook. So now that we've got kind of the stream set up, we can add a couple different things to make it more robust. So over on the right side, we have banners. This is where we can add text. They have a couple examples where if I just select it, as you can see, it pops up on the screen and it shows that. So this is an example right here. So if you want to create your own, just select create banner. 
enter it in. And then you also have the option to have it scroll on the bottom, kind of like a news ticker. So I'll just show you that. And then select Add Banner. So now when I select that one, it'll show that. And now I have now a bottom ticker. So I could have Donate Now, or I could have My Patrons, anything like that that I wanted to. And then I can turn it off by just selecting Hide. Additionally, on the right side, we have branding, so we can change the colors of things. I'm going to do a nice lighter blue here. If you upgrade your account to a paid version, you can remove the StreamYard logo up here and add your own. I don't have that, so I'm not going to do that. Now, the top option on the right sidebar right here, comments, this is where you'll see comments being made on your Twitch channel. And I'll show those once I go live. All right, so now we're basically ready to stream. To start streaming to Twitch, all we need to do is go up into the top right, and select go live. And now when it says end broadcast, that means we are now live streaming to Twitch. If I go to Twitch, you can see that I'm now live streaming to Twitch. And if I make a comment down here, that comment shows up in StreamYard. I can select show within the comment right here. And then as you can see, it brings it up on the stream with the username, their profile picture, and then also the comment. So now we can talk about that comment on my stream. So it's very cool. And whenever I wanna hide it, just select hide. As you can see on StreamYard right here, it shows me that I'm live, how long I've been live for, and then also how many viewers I have. When I'm ready to stop streaming on Twitch, all I need to do is go up to the top right, select end broadcast, and then confirm, yes, I wanna end this broadcast. And there you go. I am no longer live streaming. And it says that my live stream has now ended. All right, so that's how you live stream to Twitch from your Chromebook using StreamYard. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more StreamYard or Chromebook tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.